Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I am back for part three of this four-part series where we're diving into this 1989 Fleer Wax box looking for the errors. Yes, we've got some great rookies in here too, including the Ken Griffey Jr. that we pulled before. Um, but what I'm really looking for are errors. We've got the Kevin Romine here. This is the corrected version with the right person on the front. Guillermo Hernandez. We have the, the pink spot version here. And the Joe Orsolak with the white spot version right there. Really looking for a few others where we have some strange things going on. And we're going to dive into this stack. So far, we are 50%. We're batting 500 here because one stack was excellent, full of stars, full of great cards. The next stack was pretty poor. So now we're going to see what this stack has in store for us. Let's see what we can find. We did get the Randy Johnson rookie as well. We got the blacked out Marlboro sign on that one. So that was the more common one. That's a Joe Girardi rookie, by the way. The manager rookies are exciting to anybody. And that was a poor way to start. Starting with nothing of a whole lot of interest in that pack. Anything of interest. Not even worth saying any names at all in that one. That is two or oh for two. Two packs with not a single card to pull out, whether an error or a good card or a star player or even a Sean Dunstan. <laughs> oh, but then we get a Nolan Ryan. Look at that. That's one of the better cards in the set. This one's in great shape. This will go in my own personal collection. I do have, I think, only one of those uh, already in there, so that'll make two for me. So that'll be good. All right, all right. We're back on track here. There's Wade Boggs and Carney Lansford. That's a good card, too. I just shared my Wade Boggs collection with you guys not too long ago, so I'll have another one to add to that collection. That's a good picture of Tony Fernandez. And a good picture is not guaranteed. There's a Burt Blylevin, Hall of Famer. Good pictures are not guaranteed on baseball cards, as we all know. That's part of what makes it so fun. <laughs> like Bob Kipper. Poor Bob Kipper. What kind of picture is that? And nobody thought, hey, I should tell him that that's not a good picture. He said, nope, slap on a baseball card, yeah, off we go. There's Andre Dawson looking angry as ever. I think he was a pretty nice guy too, but that is just looking pretty. He's always mean mugging in his pictures. There's Alan Trammell, Roberto Alomar, both Hall of Famers. Saberhagen, Dale Mohorsik. I don't know that name. I sure do love breaking open these wax packs. I know they're all cars we've seen. Oh, there's Tom Glavin. They're all cars we've seen about a million times. There's the Triple A's with Canseco, Steinbach, and McGuire. But, uh, yeah, it's just something I enjoy. There's Keith Hernandez finishing up his time with the Mets. Barry Larkin. Hall of Famer there. And that's why I do this. I imagine that's why you guys watch these videos. Because you enjoy it just like I do. Ripping into these old cards and remembering the old names. There's Ozzy Smith. One of the better cards in this set. Followed by Wade Boggs. All right, now we're back on track here. We're getting a nice stack of good cards here. Jose Canseco, look at that. And Roberto Kelly. All right, so this already beats our previous session where we got virtually nothing. Um, it still doesn't quite match our session before that where we got everything. 
Dave Argetti. I'm also looking for a Craig Biggio rookie somewhere in here too, which we have not seen. There's Barry Bonds. I haven't seen that one yet. Mike Sosha insert. Bob Walk. All right, last one for this session. I haven't seen quite as many errors as I wanted to. There's Joe Carter before he heads off to the Padres. One good thing about this box so far is we've not gotten a lot of duplicates. So not much to speak of in that set, but like, really, I mean, I don't know that I've gotten any duplicates. I think it's all been uh, new cards over and over again. So um, great job for you on the sequencing on that one, I guess, and making sure that we uh, are getting good good opportunities to, to find new cards. So um, hope you guys enjoyed it. We got Nolan Ryan, my best, the best card out of that one, I think, for my personal collection, and then a handful of stars here that we can put in those little collections I like to share with you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time for the exciting conclusion of Will We Find the Error? Until then, see you next time.